morning to all the lovely students there. How are you students? I know you are not relaxed because your examinations are over. But learning is always continued. So today in this video we will be starting with our chapter number 22 of mathematics that is symmetries and patterns. This video will be a part one video. Let's move to that. Please open your textbook on page number 179. This is the page of your textbook. Let's go for it. What do you mean by symmetry? Here is the proper meaning given. Let's read together. A figure or shape is symmetrical if it can be divided into two equal parts having the same shape and size. How is the figure to symmetrical head or not? How we will judge? We will judge on the basis of the shape and size. If I divide one figure, for example, this is butterfly. Man is butterfly to two parts will divide karungi. Then both sides, the shape, the size will be same. Then I can say that this figure is a symmetrical figure. Understood? As you can see the second example. This is a flower. Many line of symmetry banani. When I draw the line, you can see on left and on right hand side, both the shapes and the figure are same. As you can see, this is a tree. Tree. Two trees are. When we reach the line, we have two trees same. As you can see in this alphabet, a figure can have more than one line of symmetry. As you can see, H. H may have two lines of symmetry. One left, right. Two no jaga, same figure. Two. Okay. These are the examples of symmetry. Symmetry is in English alphabet. The letters can have vertical line of symmetry, horizontal line of symmetry, or both. Hamari English alphabet ke bhot sa alphabets ko aise hote hain in which I can draw the line of symmetry. Some lines can be vertical, some lines can be horizontal, or in some figures. Both line can be drawn. Some letters do not have any line of symmetry. As you can see, letters with vertical line of symmetry. A, H, I, M, O, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Ye English alphabet ki aise letters hai, jin mein hum ek hi vertical line bana sakte hai symmetry. Let's turn the page on 180. B, C, D, E, H, I, K, O, X. Letters with horizontal line of symmetry. These are the letters which have horizontal line of symmetry. They have only one line in common. Let's solve our first exercise. First question is, draw the line of symmetry for each of the following. Hame? Symmetries banani hai. We are supposed to draw the line. It's our wish to draw vertically or horizontally. But the condition will be that after drawing the line of symmetry, the left figure and the right figure should be same. Let's draw the first one. This is a kite. After drawing the line of symmetry, the figure is equal at both the sides. Second, one, left or right side, dono mein same. Ab mein second line of banati. This is also same. Understood students? Third one, only vertical line is possible. Agar mein horizontal line banati so, kya ye equally divide only? No. So, in C1 only vertical line is 
possible. Understood students? So the remaining three you will be solving as a part of your homework. Let's discuss your question number two. Complete each of the following figure. Three day the dot line as the line of symmetry. आपको ये जो dotted line दी गई है आपको ये समझना है कि line of symmetry है. So as you know, symmetry condition क्या होती है? That the figure should be equal at both the sides. So in this आप क्या करोगे? आधे figure को आप complete करोगे. Understood? In this way. Okay, students. So please complete it too. Let's move to page number one eighty one. This is your exercise number two. In this new topic is there that the patterns. Patterns are presented everywhere. As you can see in my book, also there is a pattern. Flowers are drawn, leaves are there. You can see pattern everywhere. In our daily life, we see patterns in animals, arrangement of leaves, in numbers. These patterns make maths interesting for us and help us unwind our mind. Whenever just have a look around, आप अपने रूम में भी बहुत सारे patterns देखोगे, bed sheet के ऊपर कुछ patterns, sofa के cover के ऊपर कुछ patterns. Couch के ऊपर कुछ patterns in the curtains of window curtains you can see some patterns on the door. This pattern makes our life interesting. The same way, this pattern also helps us to make our maths interesting. Let's go for it. Are you are you familiar with this pattern? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So, आप तो observe करेंगे कि कौन सा table follow हो रहा है? Table follow हो रहा है three का fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four. हमने pattern को observe करके उस pattern को complete किया. The second one. Circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle. So now, rectangle. Very good. Two, three, four. In first figure, two squares. In second figure, three squares. In fourth, third figure, four squares. So now, जो figure आए हैं उसके अंदर कितने squares होंगे? Exactly five squares. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Let's solve our exercise. Study the patterns carefully and complete them. We are supposed to study the pattern and to complete them. First one is an arrow. Arrow first there up, then left, then down, then right. Up, left, down. Right, up, left, down, right. So up, कौन सा आएगा arrow? Up. Then left. Then down. So in this way, I will complete the pattern. Second one. In first, पहले एक circle है, उसके अंदर square है. Second में क्या है? स्क्वायर रेक्टेंगल है फिर सर्कल है अगेन सर्कल स्क्वायर स्क्वायर सर्कल सो अब यहां पे कौन सी पैटर्न आएगी वेरी गुड सर्कल स्क्वायर द टैंगल सर्कल सर्कल स्क्वायर अंडरस्टूड सो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ द रिमेनिंग सॉल्व्स यू विल बी सॉल्विंग एज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर वर्कशीट If you have any doubt, you are free to contact your mom. And don't worry. At the end of this chapter, I will be sending you the notes so you can verify that what you have done is right 
or any corrections are there. Okay students, take care of your health. We will be meeting in the next video with the same chapter. Bye students, God bless you.